Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can transfer your contacts from Android phone to iPhone. But the question would come, why would you want to do that? And that is because in case if you're making a switch from Android to iPhone, for whatever reason, maybe you just want to get the iOS feel or you just want to step away from the Android ecosystem for a while. And hence in this video, I've got two foolproof methods by which you can transfer your contacts from Android to iPhone with very much ease. So without wasting anybody's time, let's start the intro. So the first method is transferring your Android contacts by linking Google to your iPhone. And it's very simple, you just have to sync your contacts using the Google account and store them in cloud. And the main benefit of this method is that you can access any of your Google contacts right on the device by signing into your Google account. So let's see how to sync Android contacts with iPhone by using your Google account. Now keep in mind that the steps may vary due to different Android versions. Since I have a Google Pixel 7a, I'll use that device for the demonstration purpose. So the first step is that to make sure that your Android contacts are synced with the Google account. So to do this, first on your Android device, go to settings, then scroll down and here go to Google. Now here you'll see this option that backup is on, just tap on it. Again scroll down and here you just have to tap on Google account data. And here you'll see all the kinds of data that is synced right now on my Google account. Now for context, you have to make sure that the context toggle is on. Now for security, let me just toggle it off and then again toggle it on so that it syncs the latest contact data. Now on your iPhone, tap on the settings app, then scroll down and here just tap on contacts. Now tap on accounts, now again tap on add account and here you just have to tap on Google and from here you can add the Google account from which you have already taken the backup. And once the specific Google account is set up on your iPhone, you will see all of the contacts in the contacts app. So that was our first method. Now you might also be thinking that it is quite tedious in the process. But don't worry because the second method is more easier. What you have to do is that you just have to manually import or export your contacts as a vCard file. Which basically means that we are exporting the contacts from Android and we are gonna send this exported file to the iPhone and here we will import the contacts from the file on the iPhone. Which is very easy. So let's see how it's done. So first on your Android device in the app drawer just search contacts then tap on it and here you just have to select all of the contacts that you want to share it to the iPhone. So I'm gonna tap on the three dots and tap on select all and my all of the contacts are selected. Now I'm gonna tap on the share button and here you can see that the vCard file is generated. I just have to share it and the easiest method is to share it via Gmail. Here add the email id that you want to send to and now you just have to send this file to the given mail id. One thing to note is that you can also send the file to your own email address. So now on your iPhone on the gmail account that you have sent the file to just download it from there and as you can see on my phone I have already downloaded it. Now I am just gonna open it so just tap on it to open it and here you will see a single contact but don't worry just tap on this icon here and now just select contacts from here. And after you do that, you're gonna see all of the contacts that I had selected on my Android device. And they are presented to me on my iPhone device. Now I just have to tap on this, add all 5 contacts. So it will ask me now that I want to create new contacts or I just want to add all of the 5 contacts as it is. So I'm just gonna tap on add all 5 contacts because that is very easy. Asking me that 4 of the contacts did not match any existing entries. Hence, I have to create new contacts. So just tap on it and the new contacts are created and it will be shown on my iPhone. And it makes the flow of transferring contacts from Android to iPhone very 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 easy. So these were the two methods that I talked to you. But there's a third semi method as well and that is because Apple has its own app called move to iOS which makes transferring all of the data from Android to iPhone more easy. But as I said the only problem is that this method can only be used when you're setting up a brand new iPhone. So you have to keep that in mind. But unfortunately if you've already completed the setup of your iPhone then you can use the two methods that I told you in the beginning. So do let me know in the comment section that which of the method you have already used in the past whenever you were switching from Android to iPhone. Having said that, if you like this video then definitely subscribe to Geekified as we make amazing tech content every week just for you. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace out.